Hi, my name is Amos Trombetto, your plus size stylist, and I am a 3X, which is a size 22, 24. And I want to talk to you today about what a tunic is, why you may or may not like it for your body style and your body type, and some fun things that you can do to make it a little bit workable for your life and your wardrobe. Kind of change it up, kind of maximize the volume of your shirt. So let's dig in. And if you want, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to follow along on my YouTube channel. And if you want to hang out in my really awesome supportive community, join us at Shop with Amos right on Facebook. You will not regret it, I promise. Okay, so for instance, my body shape is a triangle upside down, inverted triangle which, uh, sorry, it's a regular triangle. I'm very tiny and I kind of balloon out, okay? So what that means is I have super tiny shoulders, as you can see, and I just kind of get bigger and bigger as we go with really big hips. And make sure you watch one of my other videos about defining your body type. It really does help. And, I'll, and um, so we're just gonna go with that. So for me personally, with the type of body I have, I don't like tunics because what happens is because they're so straight, I have a lot of room here, not so much room here, and then this happens. It kind of like pulls, it kind of gets hung up on my, bell, on my belly. This one's not so bad because it's actually opened on the sides and so it's kind of flared out. Um, it, but I know a lot of women love tunics. Women who typically have tinier hips, women who um, have really big shoulders, um, a lot of women like them also because they're long, they wear leggings and the whole nine yards. So if you are someone who found yourself in love with a tunic, maybe the shape, something about it, you love the arm area, but down here you don't always love it, there's some things that you can do, okay? The first thing is get yourself a belt. I found the good old trusty brown belt. I've It's been packed away for over a year and I have no, no idea where she was. So when you wear a belt, you're gonna bring in your, your waist a little bit, but what you do is you do this. You just kind of fluff it out a little bit. Now, if you have hips like I do, I love this because this creates like where it's not hugging on my hips, I have freedom of my hips, but I'm still covering the part of my belly that maybe I'm insecure about. And then I've pulled out kind of this extra and fluffed it over, and so what happens is this is an optical illusion. This becomes my waist and it looks like my, it looks like I'm so, like I'm a little bit thinner because my shirt is kind of hanging out. And then you just kind of fluff it in the back. Now I know not everybody wants to wear a big belt and you don't have to wear a big belt. You can do the same thing with literally a piece of string. So get creative with it, okay? So that is like one way to kind of like fix it and make it a little nicer. That looks really great too, that kind of style when you have a longer skirt, a maxi skirt, really tight jeans or leggings or something like that. Then the other thing you can do is your trusty old rubber band. So what you can do is if you wanna have uh, just like a little bit of ruching somewhere, this definitely works a little bit better when you don't have the side slit, but let's just see. You're gonna walk on by, right? So pull it off to a side and then you're gonna go like this, okay? You're gonna pull it with a hair tie and then you're gonna kind of pull it out and kind of juju it the way you want it to be, okay? Now, if this didn't have a slit, this wouldn't happen. But you're gonna play around with this, okay? And it's okay that you have a rubber band in your shirt. Like, it's okay. They sell shirts now with this design already kind of attached. But now you can kind of have it the way you want. And you can give yourself, just pretend that this is all connected, you give yourself this ruching, which is gonna help with your mom tummy and help with your lower tummy and give you the confidence that you may need to be able to pull this off, okay? Now this rubber band trick can go anywhere. If you wanna pull it in to your, where your boobs are, just go inside your shirt, pull some fabric, tie it up with your rubber band, put it back inside your shirt, and then pull it out a little bit. And you can kind of change the look of your shirt Okay, depending, depending on what kind of shirt it is. And so you're gonna to wanna to play around with it. Now, why would this work? Oh, I just pulled it out. But you saw what I kind of did this. It will work because what will happen is it will actually, if you have really big boobs, it will actually um, kind of hide your boobs a little bit, not make them feel so um, big. And if you have little boobs, it kind of draws a little extra attention to those boobs. So that sometimes can make you feel a bit more confident, okay? 
But as you pull it out, and you can, again, you can kind of play around with where you want this to sit. It creates this kind of rippling here, this kind of, you know, looseness in the fabric that helps camouflage my love handles. So it makes me feel more confident. And of course, you can put this wherever you want. You can put it right here. You can put it off to the side. Have some fun with this. Play around with it in, in, the, in, the, in, in your bedroom. Like take, take the night off. Tell your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend that you're going to go play and, and play, right? And then the other thing you can do too is you can actually pull up the whole shirt and tie it off. Oh, real life. You can pull up the whole shirt and, and, and tie it off and then pull it out. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to do, right, girls? Like, you know. And I'm not going to edit it out because mama ain't got time for that. But you can also, like, pull this out and, like, you know, this wouldn't be a, this wouldn't have a slit. This would all be here. So, you know, you just kind of have to, like, play around with it. So the beauty of a tunic is that a tunic you buy for length. It's very straight. Think of like a pillowcase with sleeves. It's very straight. You have length. So what does that length do for you? That length can allow you to cover up some stuff, right? The length can allow you to belt it while still keeping some length. The length allows you to pull it up, creating some camouflaging here if you're someone who doesn't always look great in a tunic. The tunic allows you to have extra material to really play around with it. So that is why you want a tunic. And I have them in my store all the time. AmosTrimbetto.com to get to the store. Shop with Amos to get to our Facebook community. Make sure you like this video. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you so much for watching.